Hi, I am Adish uh, from Informatica support of the IR team. Uh, uh, today I am going to take a video session on how to run Relate Utility in IR. So the agenda for the today uh, today's uh, video session is um, I'm going to take you through the uh, what's the relate utilities that's its introduction and then after that we are going to see the demo on the relate how to run relate from the IR admin console. So basically relate is a base search application that accesses the IR search server uh, using the standard uh, APIs search APIs. It reads an input file that will uh, that will be having the uh, search transactions. Uh, we'll be seeing in the demo how to uh, define that particular uh, search transaction in a pre uh, it's a in a predefined format. So in this session, we'll be seeing the how to uh, uh, how to uh, create an input file that's a delimited file. And so uh, each search transaction is passed to the search server, uh, which uses the search definition, which will be nominating uh, while running the relate and to find the matching records so each transaction will be going to the search server and uh, for that particular search what are all the matching records with its score will be uh, written to the output files for so it's a so now we'll be seeing the uh, relate uh, demo uh, uh, so how to run relate from the ir admin console. so relate uh, first you need to select the system on against which will be will be running the relate you need to go to uh, select the tools option and in that particular you need to select the relate uh, button so you'll be seeing a window that will be appearing so you'll see many options that are there so what are all the required options that i'll tell you which are necessary for the relate uh, to uh, run so the first option as you can see in the uh, window it's an input file so this is the input file that uh, we are going to create that contains the search transaction and the path uh, either it can be uh, it should be an uh, it can be an absolute path uh, of where the where your console server is installed it should be a valid path uh, otherwise uh, if we give just the relate uh, that just I have given in my example relate underscore input dot txt it, it will be it should be present in the work directory that is SSA that's pointed by the environment variable uh, SSA work dir so the default work directory that is is in the um, in the root directory ssa top slash ids so that's uh, where is the uh, where the, the input file is present so we'll look into the input file how to create that input file uh, delimited input file so this is the input file that i have created uh, it's containing the uh, so it should we will we'll first see the IDT definition. So it's it should be in the IDT, uh, not exactly in the IDT layout, but it should contain the four fields that we uh, that we have specified here. So as we can see uh, in the IDT definition from here, so we have the ID, uh, then the name, then date of birth, and the address. So there are four fields. So there should be a four field uh, four fields in the input that is the that will be given as an input to the relate. So first field as you can see our source definition that we are using. So in the source definition if you will see uh, index is built on the name and the uh, searching is done on the name, uh, address and the date of birth. So first field we are not using anywhere so we can uh, just it should be there but we can uh, keep it blank. So the second is the on uh, whatever you want to search uh, for a particular name that name you need to give then after that the third field is date of birth so need, you need to give the date of birth which you want to search and the uh, address then the same thing you can give uh, here uh, the uh, blank field uh, first we can because ID we don't want to search anywhere so you can keep it blank then name we need to give then date of birth and then the address so in the third uh, in third record you can see it's like first uh, just the name is there and second as you can see uh, we i've kept it blank because the because the purpose that we have used is the person name and here the only the required field is the name so we can other things we can keep it blank if we don't want it to participate in the matching so since uh, this is uh, i'm at the client site currently so i have uh, 
to uh, after uh, the, the input file is present uh, is present in the server directory so that i'm going to tell you that's going to present so here as you can see there's an so this is the same file that's present here in the server directory where your console server and IR server are running and you can see uh, the current path here what's the uh, present working directory so the default work directory is the IDS so if, if you have set it to some other path then you can uh, keep it there otherwise you can give some any valid absolute path of uh, absolute path in the uh, relate input file uh, column any absolute path with the file name so this is again the second field you can see it's uh, output file where the uh, for each search, search transaction what are all the matching records that it's go going to find it's going to return there and here from the drop down we are going to uh, nominate the search that we are going to use so, uh, so here is the search width search width is narrow typical exhaustion and extreme so you can search it uh, you can select it from here so it will overwrite the uh, whatever we have in the sdf in the search definition it will overwrite that similarly the mesh tolerance also we can overwrite and we can uh, select it and it will uh, overwrite the uh, overwrite the mesh tolerance which is there in the uh, sdf so output formats so the uh, there are different output formats like if you can see the third output format if you'll see it will uh, it will say the score uh, it will display each uh, record that is uh, going to be uh, selected as match record so uh, all the fields it's going to display with the score so that's the format that you can use and uh, there are other formats which you can refer so it's just the way it's going to uh, write to the output file so you can refer it from the ir operation guide for the different file and no match file uh, you can easily see that there are no match file and one match file so one match file is uh, the uh, it's go going to create one more output file uh, you can give here the name uh, which has got one match uh, for each uh, transaction so here as you can see it's uh, my file was delimited so i have given the field separator so we have since the in the input file we can see that the comma is the field separator so i have given a comma as a field separator and record delimiter we need to give a slash n because we have uh, the records are separated by the new line so here the main thing is the record layout it's it's very because from here uh, the from the input file it's going to convert into the uh, idt layout so this will tell the idt layout so as you can see in the well, I'll uh, go through the SDF once again. So in the SDF, you can see in the SDF, you can see uh, the ID. It's uh, it's of the uh, uh, length 10. Name is of 100. Date of birth is of 100. And address is is of 100. So that thing we need to uh, uh, that that thing uh, we sh we need to write it here. 10 comma 100 comma 100 comma 100 and extra twist for the clustering id that we need to give so this will uh, convert the input file uh, that's uh, input file uh, records that we have given into the idt layout and it's going to search against the idt and write it to the output file and the extra option is the hyphen ss that i have given it's very useful for informatica while debugging uh, any uh, any expensive searches if we want to find so that uh, this extra option is going to be very helpful so now i'm going to run so this is up in new line and train trailing bank uh, trailing banks this option so if we'll select this option it's going to uh, uh, extra spaces it's going to be trimmed and a new line so uh, in the output file it's going to append the all all the results will be separated by the new line now i'm going to run relate i'm going to click on ok so uh, so the job has been completed now we'll go to view locks so in the view locks we can see that uh, in the output we have got for the first record it was glenn then the date of birth was the this address code so it has got three matching record for this as you can see then if we go down we'll see that uh, for glenn Cough, the second uh, the second record was jennifer mary and it has got three records for uh, jennifer mary also and 
and if you look for the third search it was only Jennifer so we got four records for the Jennifer and uh, the fourth record was this so like this it will it is it has generated so you can see even the path in the uh, here uh, that's home uh, that's the path and it has created at the server side this particular file and it has written the output for each particular search and you can see the score as well uh, uh, what each so for the Glen, for the first record it has got the for the Glen that we searched this Glen it has got 95 score Glen Coffee has got 92 score and the Glen Coffee has got 86 uh, score so that's the thing and uh, you can see in the relate log so how much was the so uh, due to the s hyphen s's we are able to see that how, what each transaction search transaction there were eight transaction in the input file so first transaction took 143 milliseconds uh, to return the results and to get the and the second transaction uh, took 4 milliseconds and so on so all also will be able to see the histogram so from the histogram we we see that the seven searches uh, took less than 10 milliseconds that was 87 uh, 0.5 percent so it shows uh, each search search uh, through the 10 millisecond duration so one search took uh, less than 1 milli 150 millisecond so that was the uh, histogram so it's very useful to find the uh, through this uh, logs uh, informatica can easily find uh, what are all the expensive searches it's there so uh, for most of the debugging pers uh, debugging purposes we need uh, we, uh, you need to run this utility and uh, provide this particular logs to the informatica um, so this output uh, as we have not specified any absolute path here uh, during the during running the relate as you can see so it will be stored in the work directory and you you can see the work directory path here uh, at the back side uh, so this is the uh, path so where the relate output dot txt will be saved uh, that you can provide and as we have seen there in the uh, output relate output so uh, also uh, since uh, we have used delimited there are other methods also like you can give in the IDT layout or you can give the input view you can create an input view uh, through this and you can provide the uh, you can run the utility also uh, uh, instead of uh, taking the input from the flat file we can take the input from the uh, IR um, from the database and we can write to the database uh, using an answer set so uh, it's a very uh, it's, there are many options that are there so uh, the uh, the next uh, so in the uh, next video session I'll be taking off how to run uh, how to uh, read the input records from the uh, database as well as the other ways of running the relate but uh, for, uh, as of now it will be it's a uh, you can run relate using the delimited input file uh, by giving input so you can refer to IR operation guide which you can uh, get it from the support portal for more information about this utility and also uh, there uh, in the next session we uh, I can uh, uh, I can tell you the how to run this relate utility from the command command line instead of the IR admin console so that was it thank you I uh, would love to hear from you uh, at this particular uh, links thank you thank you very much